In April 2007, I did the first uh, multifocal intraocular lens MPLEX T from Rayner in Spain and the first live surgery with this lens in the world. I remember my first case. My first case was a young pottery maker, high hyperop, high astigmatism, and one week after surgery he was able to read a jug or two without glasses. And one week later I did an office worker, high myop, high astigmatism, and the outcomes were absolutely the same. So um, I understood that uh, this lens probably will be a gold lens. And in the last five years, my experience with the NFLEX-T is excellent. And more than 90% of my patients are spectacle free. The difference in design are that the Salkos lens has to have a larger diameter. So the Salkoflex lens has a 14 mm diameter as compared to the smaller diameter of a capsular bag lens. Another feature is that there is an undulation in the haptic because we want to have a, rotational, a high rotational stability. For that reason, the haptics of the Sarcoflex lens are undulated. Another important thing is that the posterior surface of the optic of the Sarcoflex lens is concave. We want to preclude a contact between the two optics because then we would create a hyperopic defocus and that's a complication we don't want to have. It's also important that uh, the lens in the sulcus should have rounded optics because we want to uh, preclude these photopsias. These are the main uh, differences as compared to the capsular bag lens. The sulcoflex lens works with all different lenses implanted in the bag. I have experience with uh, silicone lenses, hydrophobic acrylic lenses or hydrophilic acrylic lenses where I, where I put a sarcoflex lens on top. So there was no any adverse event or interaction between the two lenses or materials. That's because of the special design of that lens. The lens, as I mentioned already, has a concave posterior surface that precludes contact between the two materials. The particular benefit of a sarcoflex lens is that the procedure is reversible. So if you correct ametropia, post-op surprises, biometrical surprises or whatsoever, you have the chance to change the situation. You can explant that lens easily. So if you have, for instance, uh, cases where there's a dynamic refraction, a change in refraction, for instance in children or in silicone filled eyes or whatsoever, you can implant the lens, correct the patient, and if there is the need to change that, you can explant that lens or you can exchange it to a different diopter. So you are very flexible with that system and that's the main benefit for that lens, I think. The main benefit of combined multifocal toric lens is to avoid or to reduce spectacle dependence in patients with high corneal astigmatism. We know that uh, more than 20% of cataract surgery patients have a high astigmatism. Uh, consequently, the only way to obtain good outcomes uh, in these cases is to perform a second uh, surgical procedure like uh, limbal relaxing incisions, uh, PRK, LASIK, uh, even uh, toric uh, piggyback uh, lenses. Uh, so that's the reason why I think the multifocal toric lenses are excellent uh, to provide a good vision after surgery in one step.